Hi everyone, I'm Scott Forster, a product manager here at Ops Level, and today I'm gonna to walk you through our new service detection functionality. Um, so what this functionality does is when you integrate a new Git repository, as you can see here, you'll notice there's this new card uh, that says service detection and it'll be enabled by default. So what we have is a rules engine now that will look into your repository. And if we think we found a service based on this rules engine that we've, uh, that we've come up with, it will start feeding you service recommendations. Um, so if I go to our service list, You'll notice, hey, there's a bunch of detected services here. I should check out what's going on. So when I click in, you'll notice there's a series of services that we found with links to the appropriate folder within that repository. So you can get more information on what this thing is. Um, so if you're looking at Fragile Grass and you're like, ah, I don't think that's a service. Um, you can click the ignore button. So I've clicked ignore. Uh, and this has now been moved to an ignored state. Um, at a later time, if you think this actually might be a service, you can unignore it and bring it back to these pending recommendations. So if I go back to pending and I actually think, hey, I think heavy dinosaurs is a service, um, I can accept that. So if I click accept and I go back to the service list, you will notice that heavy dinosaurs is now a service that we found for you. And hey, we even have a recommendation as what the language is and we are linked to the appropriate repositories. Um, so you can imagine as a first time user of ops level and you're just trying to get your catalog bootstrapped and curated, this will be really great because the moment you start integrating your Git repositories, we'll start kind of building this catalog for you. And if you're an existing customer, this is a great housekeeping tool. Um, we're gonna continually be looking for things that you might've missed um, so you can add them back into your catalog. Um, so some more functionality you might've seen here is if I go back to detected services, um, we also have aliases, right? This is based off of deploys uh, or event checks. Uh, if we notice there's a reference to a service that we don't currently have in ops level, we'll give you the ability to either uh, create an alias uh, for an existing service or, or create a new service itself out of these suggestions. Um, so there's lots of places we hope to take this functionality in the future. Um, we want to integrate a whole bunch of other tools like APM tools or Kubernetes as a way to build kind of more robust recommendations um, for your catalog, as well as maybe even give customers the ability to create their own rules engines. Um, so we can sort of tailor the recommendations we're giving you based on your organization's best practice. That's all for me today. If you're an existing customer and you have questions or comments about this feature, feel free to reach out. Uh, and if you're new to Ops Level and you're intrigued by what you've seen, uh, please go to OpsLevel.com and check it out. Uh, we're offering a free 30-day trial. Um, thanks and look for more videos in the future.